Paro's Heart is Mine by Wayne Lucia in what part? Forgive me if the pronunciation is wrong. Paro's Heart is Mine is about the unpredictable love of Paro. 16 years ago, Crown Prince's favorite wife, Nefetari, dies. No one knows the reason. The whole country mourns, unable to forget their beloved queen-to-be. But eventually, everybody moves on with their own lives. But the prince can't. He loses that spark of love in him and is no longer interested in the beauty of nature around him. He doesn't want to see his mother. Sixteen years pass and now the prince is a king, a great pharaoh. The queen mother wants him to love again. So she chooses his new bride. And who is that? Nefru. In the midst of it all lies Nefru, Pharaoh's beloved. It is time to do the impossible. The book was incredibly written and has the power to have a grip on you from the first sentence. The struggle for power in which even your most loved becomes the enemy. The irony is that even the villainy is justifiable. It is for nothing but their existence. The writer might be alluding to the favorite ancient Egyptian queen Nefetari and the king Ramses II. The red hair of the king is given a place in the story. Let me warn you that this book is not complete. But if you read it, you will realize that each chapter is written in a way where the writer can easily declare, I choose it to end this way. The use of language is marvelous. In my opinion, this book is written so beautifully that no one will believe it was by a teenager. The writer hadn't updated the book in five years. Everyone is expecting an update like a drop of water in a scorching hot desert. I'll give this book 4.7 stars. To those who have a love for historical fiction and power struggles, I recommend this book to you. See you in the next podcast. Thank you for listening to me. I'm glad that you are here spending your valuable time with me. Please comment and subscribe. That will be a great encouragement for me. Thank you.